Hey, you're that some bitch Dutch was going on about. You a registered voter? Ah, don't matter. I need help of a different sort. Let's get to the point. You see that steaming pile of disappointment over there praying? That's my loin fruit, Hurt Jr. Dumber than a coal bucket. He takes after his mama. Stupid some bitch went and lost my campaign truck, Nancy. So named after the greatest first lady to ever serve this fine country, of course. If them Obama-loving libtards find out I can't look after my own property, I can kiss this Senate run goodbye. Now, seeing as you're on my land, and I didn't kill you, even though it's well within my rights as a red-blooded American gun owner, I say you owe me. Help numbnuts get my truck back so I can start focusing on my campaign again. Junior! Someone's here to help you. Try not to fuck it up. Actually, I could do it by myself, but I don't want to. Ah, uh, hey, man, I'm sorry. I don't want to go on assuming nobody's gender or nothing. I, I mean, I don't mean no disrespect. I just call all my homies dude or bro or man, you know, regardless of vegetalia or penile-ness-ness. Whoa, deja voodoo, man. Have, have we have we met before? Dang, man, my prayers have been answered. I got a direct line to that sweet little monkey god whose heart hangs in heaven. Well, I guess since you're an angel working here on Earth, the monkey king, that you already know I gotta get my daddy's truck back. I mean, he's real butt sore. But if we get it back, he'll let me sleep in my bed again. And I gotta tell you, man, it's getting Real cold outside. Never mind them wood ticks crawling all up in my junk, threatening me with Lyme disease and whatnot. So come on, man. Help me get my daddy's truck back. Let's make dust before the old man starts shooting. He's hotter than a ghost pepper these days. Santa Run's been real stressful on him, man. He ain't cut out for that shit. You know how busy he is? Doesn't even have time to cut out for a shit. Come on, man, get in. Shit, man, I've been praying on this all day, man. I've been asking the Monkey King, all the baby Jesuses, even the Bill Valentine's one, just to send me a sign, man, and they sent me you. I'll tell you something, though, man. Getting that truck, it ain't gonna be easy. Damn cult's got it, man. Well, I'll be honest with you, it all started when... When I tried to join them, I mean, I mean, it just seemed like a good idea. I mean, they had all these guns, food, fine-ass females, and I mean, those are three things I'm really all about. I mean, it seemed like one big party over there, you know? So I says, I says, hey, me, goes, where do I sign up? They said, sign up right here, friend. Then, <laughs> then they start listing off all their dang rules, man. No fornicating, turns out that means fucking. No, no alcohol and no wild out partying, man. No thank you. So I got the fuckity fuck, fuck, fuck out of there, man. Unfortunately, though, I forgot my daddy's truck. He's been real butt sore since, so I gotta get that truck. But you don't gotta worry about a thing, man. I got a nine-step plan to get this truck back. Step one, catch a day buzz off party day. Got that one covered, homie. Step two, pray for someone else to solve my problem. Done. Step three is, uh, shit. Shit, I forget the rest, but they'll come to me as soon as soon as we go. Dang, you are a good listener, Boba Fett. My old man doesn't listen at all. I guess that's why I never feel hurt. Me and him, we ain't getting along that well lately. Ever since he started running for office, he's been coming down on me real hard about everything. About my public intoxication, how I handle my firearms, stuff like that, man. But when we get his truck back from them Peggy's, he's gonna be real impressed, dude. He's gonna love me so much, and then my mom's gonna have to try and love me more so she can compete with how much he loves me, and then he'll see how much she's loving me, and then he'll try and love me even more, and then birthdays and Christmases, they're gonna be off the chain. This 
This is the place. Remember, step three, we take them from the rear, just like my granddaddy did in World War II with all them foreign prostitutes. You see that watchtower? It's gonna fuck shit up. actually all the way down yonder probably more peggy's waiting for us too it's all about the zip line man we gonna zip line in there sneak up on them like ninjas I'll be honest with you, man. I took my parents' divorce real personal. I know they say it ain't never the kids' fault, but, man, I took it to heart anyway. Ran away from home. Dude, I, I was terrified. I had just turned 30 years old, and I didn't know what I was doing, man. I, I mean, there was a thrill that came with being a runaway and a freedom that I cannot explain. I mean, that's where I found myself, and that is why I recommend running away to every child I meet.
Mama was the best teacher I ever had. Bear on a rampage! Uh. Rocky, knee face. Uh. Roger! Uh. Oh, snap! And she's still in one piece. Well, Deputy, you kept your word. You know, I did some thinking while you were gone. This whole Senate run is too much for me to handle on my own. I'm in need of a campaign manager, and you're just the kind of go-getter I need to get my ass in office. First task I got is to take Junior with you wherever you go. So I don't have to hear him praying to that goddamn monkey king no more. Second task is, uh, well, uh, let me think on it a bit. I'll get back to you. 